Hi guys, this is Chris with Harris Arms. Welcome back again. I uh, wanted to do a, it's not really an unboxing, but uh, a little while back I made a video about my Glock 19X that I said I was going to have some custom work done to the slide. And well, that slide is back and I just wanted to show you uh, what came in, uh, explain a little bit of the work that I had done, um, and then off camera I will... Uh, put everything together and like show you the finished product. But uh, I had a company called DP Custom. I had a company called DP Custom Works um, do this slide work for me. And this is the first time I've used them to do this kind of work. So I'm kind of trying to figure it out. I didn't, um, I didn't just picked them out of the blue I had some uh, and some recommendations so I gave them a try it's pretty cool you get a sticker in your little packet here and a business card and another card and uh, I purchased a uh, a cover plate for the RMR cut if I didn't want to have an RMR on there but I have an RMR here that I am going to put on the on the uh, the slide itself so this stuff came in and then the slide itself came in now when I when I sent the slide off I just took it completely apart uh, took the firing pin uh, and all the safety mechanisms out of it. Took the, the sights off because I also have a set of uh, Trichicon suppressor height sights that I'm going to put on as well. Uh, so, But I got the slide back and here is what the finished product looks like. Uh, so what I had done was this was a Glock 19X slide and so there were no serrations on the front here uh, they came in and did some lightning cuts here to lighten it, lighten the, the slide up a little bit and gave me some front serrations that actually matched the factory Glock serrations pretty well. Uh, really well, actually. And they also gave me serrations here on the top. And these are all straight, look nice and neat. Uh, and the RMR cut. So they actually give you some screws to go with it as well, which I will use to install the RMR. Up the RMR cut looks really nice, and they refinished it. They uh, gave I just went with a one color Cerakote, which is this is their Troy Coyote Tan, right? So they didn't have the exact FDE that Glock uses on this, but I told them to use what was the closest thing they had, which it um, it matches the original the original color pattern I believe fairly well anyway. In fact this this is probably a little closer to the frame color than the original the original tan of the Glock, a peanut butter some call it. So anyway it looks really nice all the cuts are uh, look very very um, very well done very well defined uh, the serrations feel really good and I'll know more about it when uh, when I get it together. Unfortunately I can't show that on YouTube so gonna be gone for a little bit, get all this put together, and come back and show you a finished product. And through the magic of YouTube editing, or video editing, not just YouTube editing, right? Uh, the Glock 19 is finished. It is back together. Um, let's see, of course, it is safe here. Safe, nothing in the chamber, no magazine. Okay. Um, yeah, she's back together. There is one thing that it's still missing uh, as of now, and that is the uh, the radium ramjet compensator that I'm going to put on it. Now that's been ordered. It has been ordered, but they are uh, their back or their um, uh, their arrival times are are pushed way back. So I don't know exactly when that will make it in. Uh, but other than that, everything's been done. Now I really like the work on it. Again, this was all for function, so these serrations add for ease of, of uh, controlling the slide from the front, whereas before the, that was tougher, all this was slick, there were, there were no serrations here or here or on the other side, all that was done really well. I'm really pleased with the craftsmanship, uh, the quality of the, the millwork. Um, I'm, fin I'm pleased also with the quality of the finish. I did push out some of the um, some of the Cerakote when I put the rear side on, but that's that's going to happen. And uh, I still have to, probably will have to uh, work a little bit with the rear sight 
uh, to make sure that it is actually where it's supposed to be. I just centered it up for now, probably where it needs to be, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, the uh, the RMR mounted perfect. The cut work looks good. There, uh, I mean, it fits just to a T. Yeah, everything went together really well. Uh, everything functions properly as of now. Um, yeah, nice. Everything went together real nice. I'm, I'm extremely pleased with it. Again, folks, this is a uh, DP Custom Works. DP Custom Works. I have no affiliation with them. Like I said, he had no idea that I was doing this and was gonna going to uh, do a review on my channel. Uh, for this, like I said, he, he, his that company had come recommended by uh, someone else that uh, that I trust, and yeah, they did me really well. Now, one thing they they did too is they uh, when I initially sent the slide off, and when they received the slide, they send you an email back saying they received it. Uh, the email that I I received said that uh, for your meal work, like serrations and such. Uh, you should you should allow three to four weeks for that to be completed um, before it could be shipped back shipped back. And if you were getting a finish on the slide, a single color, color finish like a Cerakote, that would add another three to four weeks. So when I sent this off, I was expecting it to take a couple of months to come back. But instead of taking a couple of months, and I'm looking here at the email that I was sent. Yeah, it says um, the current turnaround on general slide cut orders without refinishing is around four weeks. Optic cut orders without refinishing is around two to three weeks. Uh, Metal Knight Nickel 10 Rose refinishing adds three weeks. Cerakote finish, uh, refinishing adds three to four weeks. So I did get a Cerakote finish and I got a slide cut so you would think it would take somewhere in the neighborhood of six to eight weeks for the slide to come back. Uh, they received my slide on January the 3rd Today is January the 23rd, and I have my slide back in on the gun. So within 20 days, um, I went from uh, having, or, or DP went from having the slide to having it shipped back to me in my hands and complete. Uh, that's a pretty good turnaround, and they shipped it last week, so they were done with it uh, in less than three weeks. The whole thing, the slide cuts, the, the optic cut, uh, and the, the refinishing of the of the uh, Cerakote. Now I think that the color came out really well. It really looks just like a, a stock Glock 19 X tan. Uh, it's a little different, a little darker than the frame, which is what 19 X's are. And uh, I really like it. I like it a lot. I think he did a lot of good work. So yeah, if you're looking for side work, check out DP Custom Works. Uh, they did a really good job with this. I'm happy. Um, Extremely happy so far, and uh, I had wanted to originally maybe to send the um, the uh, the compensator off as well and have it refinished to this this color, but again they were pushed back so far that I just couldn't get one. Uh, when my compensator comes in, I'll think about it. But with all the black that I have on the gun already, with the RMR, the sights, uh, the talon grip here, I do like I do like that black. Um, the barrel from Arrow is, I mean from Arrow, the barrel from Radian will be black as well. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see and install it and see what it looks like. But as far as the slide work is concerned, it looks like very high quality to me. So what did it cost me? Well, like I said, I had the, what they call their Glock EDC package cut on this, which is um, serrations on the side, serrations on the top. Uh, gives some light lightning cuts or lightening like making lighter cuts on the side of the slide I didn't have any windows cut in no ports uh, again I wanted to keep this pretty much I mean it's not stock but I wanted to make everything I did function and I you know if you go to taking too much material off the slide you can have some problems with function there so I had the Glock EDC package that's $199 uh, I had a one coke Cerakote done which is $90 I had the RMR Glock optic cut, which is seventy-five dollars, and I also had them send me a um, an RMR cover plate, like in case I didn't want the RMR, I can have a cover plate that's on here. It's just black, what they have, and that's another twenty-five dollars. So uh, total after shipping and all ended up costing uh, me a little over four hundred dollars for for this entire package here. Not the entire gun, of course, 
Uh, but $400 for the slide work, the refinishing, uh, and the, uh, the optic plate that they sent me. So if you look for slide work, I think that's a reasonable price. And they were very fast in the turnaround and did, uh, in my opinion, a high quality job. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely pleased with it so far. And we'll see, uh, see how it holds up. Uh, and I don't, I don't, it's not that it has to hold up perfect. This thing isn't going to be um, something I just put up and look at. It will be something I use often, so uh, wear spots here and there won't um, bother me a bit. But as I continue along with this gun, I will keep you uh, up to date on how it's doing. And yeah, I appreciate it. So there's the Glock 19X. This is what it looks like. Um, uh, finished product uh, minus the compensator, uh, suppressor height, Trichicon uh, tritium sights, uh, Trichicon RMR type 2, uh, and custom work on the slide by DP Customs. Again, hey, and if you've made it this long and you appreciate the content, if you would, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button. Ask me a question down in the comments. Get down in there and, and, uh, and uh, ask some questions there. I love to ask questions. Other than that, thank you for stopping by.